Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. La ilaha illallah Muhammadan Rasulullah. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la. Lahul mulku wa lahul hamd wa huwa Allah kulli sha'in kadir. Inna allaha wa malaikatuhu yasuluna ala al-nabi. Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Abdika wa rasulika al-nabi la'ummi wa la'alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallim. O Allah, sanctify the secret of your Abd, Sheikh Muhammad Fawzi al-Karkari, the seal of the saints, the reviver of the religion, the lamp in the darkness, the grandson of al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. O Allah, preserve Siddi Sheikh, prolong his life with ease, protect him, his family and disciples, for the sake of establishing the multitudes in your remembrance and in your light. O oh Allah, make your friend a sign unto mankind, and Allah is perfecting his light. My name is Omar Ibn Farooq. I am a 32-year-old computer entrepreneur living in New York City. My conceptual encounter with Tasawwuf began in my early 20s through the readings of the works of Rene Ginan, also known as Abdul Wahid Yahya, who was initiated in the Shad Hili order, of which the Karkariya Tariqa is a branch. From Ginan, I understood the need of affiliation with the spiritual teacher who has a lineage of transmission back to the Prophet, upon him be peace, to access the inner dimension of the religion, or Hakika, which is like the kernel or inner part of a nut, with the shell or casing being the Sharia. Accessing the Hakika or inner reality requires traversing a path or a tariqa, a movement from circumference to center. Ginan explained that during the initiation or baya in terms of tasawwuf, there is a transmission of spiritual influences from heart to heart, which opens for the receiver the possibilities of spiritual development. And indeed, the Karkariya Tarika is a repository of spiritual influences. In fact, the greatest of spiritual influences through the transmission of the light of Allah. When it came to locating a Tarika, I found the Tarika system virtually non-existent in North America. And for the Tarikas I did find, there was no living Sheikh present or the Tariqa had some obvious non-compliance with the Sharia that made me stay away. As going on, warns that one of the factors in distinguishing between a false spiritual teacher and an authentic teacher is that only the latter adheres to traditional orthodoxy. I continued my search and came across the Karkariya Tariqa and other Tariqas in North Africa and surrounding regions. In my heart, I was ready to walk across rural Africa to find a sheikh, if that was where this affair would lead me. I didn't think, I didn't think too much of the Karkariya Tarika at the time, but I did see the sheikh's face on the Tarika website and social media. Then one night in late 2018, when it came to settling my mind on one Tarika, I entered into massive confusion due to the conflicting information that I came across on the internet. Articles would state that Tarika X is Bida, Tarika Y contains Shirk, and so on. The whirlwind of conflict regarding the matter exhausted me, to the point where I gave up my will concerning choosing a Tarika and left it to Allah. I fell asleep performing the Istighfar Dikr as intensely as I could, with my heart asking my Lord to decide the matter. Immediately upon falling asleep, I woke up inside of a dream in which I saw Siddi Sheikh of the Karkariya Tarika sitting in the center of my vision, clothed in green. We were inside a mosque and there were people to my left and my right. And on my left, a child beckoned me to move towards Siddi Sheikh by propelling myself forward with my hands while staying in a sitting position. That is, I was not to stand up and walk towards him. I tried to do this and the sheer effort required led to the dream vision to collapse. To reiterate, when I say I woke up inside the dream, I mean that I was fully lucid inside of it. It was as real to me as this waking world is. I had full control of my dream lines. 
This dream vision was enough certainty for me, so I contacted the Karkaria and was introduced to Sidi Khaled of Canada, who transmitted the weird to me and advised me to regularly wake up for the third of the night for Istikbar. While my heart and, and, and intentions were fully set to meet Sidi Sheikh as soon as possible, unfortunately, inner and outer obstacles appeared that prevented me from making the trip to the Zawiya in Morocco. Before meeting Sidi Sheikh in person, I did see clear signs while awake during the Istighfar and the Weird. Here are three major signs. Once I saw a celestial tree with this trunk connected to a spear of light, which seemed to extend into infinity. The tree was at the top center of my vision. Its beauty is not describable and its light seemed as if living. Another time I saw a figure of light, the outline of a man's torso, obviously a Muslim since there was a turban, which had no features within the torso besides radiating light. The figure was directly in the center of my vision and the person's presence was majestic. I began to see with my eyes open and closed, outside and inside the dicker, in the center of my vision, a small circle of light like a star. I knew that each time I saw it, it was the same light because it had what I could describe as its own identity. That is, it distinguished and asserted itself from the visual noise that you might see when you close your eyes and look into the darkness. And it kept appearing in the center. Besides these, I had many more dreams of Sidi Sheikh although most were not as lucid as the first dream vision. By the grace and mercy of Allah and through the efforts of Tariqa disciples such as Sidi Yusuf Kaiswit and others, Sidi Sheikh made his first visit to the United States in the month of May 2023. And Allah enabled me to finally take Baya with him, mashallah, on the campus grounds of the University of Chicago. <clears throat> The first time my eyes saw Sidi Sheikh in person was at Masjid Al-Ihsan, also in Chicago. When I first glanced at him, it looked like the hour had come onto his face. His eyes looked like as if they were going to burst from petitioning Ar-Rahman for mercy. This is what my heart saw. Sidi Sheikh is sheer mercy, sheer beauty, sheer patience, sheer kindness, and sheer knowledge. He has the same patience with the beginner as with the one with more advanced concerns and quotes Quran and Hadith to substantiate what he says. When you ask him a question, he answers your question and 10 other questions, examining a topic from all sides. And to those who pay attention, which is the price to be paid for knowledge, you will understand that he also teaches without speaking. The Baya is simple. He takes your hands, ask you to close your eyes and repeat Astaghfirullah continuously until you see something. For me, I saw a small white dot. Seeing that completed the baya, the spiritual transmission was facilitated, the permission to elevate granted, marking the start of the path and discipleship. Since taking the baya, I can report the following. After a weird, I saw subtle clouds forming and positioning themselves above my head. During a transition from waking to dream, I saw what looked like a full moon in the center of my vision, asserting itself majestically. Whenever I close my eyes, I see a star or a cluster of stars. Some of the stars are bright and sparkling. Some others seem more like a black hole with the center devoid of light but having a ring of light around them. Sometimes these stars align themselves like a constellation. Another way to describe these stars is as if they are bright, piercing points of light in the darkness. Sometimes I see the white dot I saw in the baya, even with my eyes open on people's faces. As a newborn on the path, this is what I can report. There is more I can say, but those matters are personal. Let me just say, this is not just a path of knowledge, but also of love. And I wonder if the knowledge of love is superior to the love of knowledge. 
for anyone watching this who wants to walk the path that opens the inner life and nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I recommend you do what the Shaykh recommends. Pray the istikhara. Ask Allah to eliminate you regarding this Shaykh and this tariqah. Keep praying until you get a response. And surely Allah responds to the caller when he calls. And surely Allah will guide the sincere. And surely Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama sallaita wa ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala Ali Sayyidina Ibrahim Allahumma barak ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama barakta wa ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala Ali Sayyidina Ibrahim fil alameen innaka hamidun majid Allah Allah